Oh my god, this is a nuts chest. Like, what? Okay, okay. Gonna try it. Ugh, really? And hello there. And this is King of Trinic, Trinic here with another video. And this was another requested video. Where to place your house, how to do it, all that jazz. Now, I'm gonna put a disclaimer straight away in the video and say, hey, I'm no super pro or expert. But I will tell you one thing, as much as my house is not done up at all, except for the walls, um, all being stone, which is still nothing. You break through this wall, this is basic. I still do not get raided at all. Zero percent. Now, let me tell you why. It's just a probability. People can still come over. They can still come in the house and stuff like that. But I got methods, all right? As you can see here, it's just stones. Even if they broke through this, they're only getting stone and wood. And anyone can get stone and wood. The lowest level just starting the game can get stone and wood. If they want to be happy with that's fine. So I will share the things that I know. I'm still learning. I must put that disclaimer in there so I'm not perfect. But um, yeah, let's get to it, because this could be a long video. All right, so there's things you need to know, all right? So you want to be defensive, you want to put your house in the right place. You need to know that some items exist. So this item for starters is for rooftops. If you've got a ceiling, a roof, whatever, the issue here that becomes is, oh, one second, is that this thing here, changes everything <laughs> basically it allows people to just grapple hook destroy your, your ceiling and then grapple hook like upwards or downwards well you don't need to do it downwards it's so stupid but then if they go down and they want to come back up then they can use that so there you go i climb it for a number of times today so you can buy four of these for only 10 gold bars Maximum conversion can do uh, quantity duration five mouth. I don't know what it means by mouth. I can use under a broken roof or form a rope to climb up. So you've got to, if you're going to put stuff on multiple floors, reason why I haven't done my floors yet, you got to make them concrete and strong because they are going to abuse that. Most bases are built for walking around in. They never build it for a point of what if they just go straight up. And if they've got a drone and they can just fly around and, you know, there's opening spots, they can check it out. All right. So you don't want to do that. All right. Do your floors. Uh, Manage the open battery remaining number of times. Whoops. I don't know why that came off. Sorry about this. My translator is weird sometimes. All right. So uh, manage the batteries remaining number of times. OK. Open the manage gate. Now, what this means, people get this confused. People think you go into a base, it opens doors, right? The reason why I got wardrobes in front of mine, yeah, is because it doesn't count as a door. <laughs> so therefore, they can't use this on it. All right. So it only opens the front gate. It doesn't do your doors in general. OK, so don't forget that that's 100 gold per time. There's 40 of these. Now, <laughs> if you're a rich guy, that's 4K gold, yeah. Um, then yeah, go for it. But I don't know. People don't tend to use them too much. All right. Well, I don't know. I can't speak for raiders. Really, sure. I have to ask Governor. He's the raiding expert. He likes to use everything. All right. Next one is uh, restricted. Let me just move this because it's translating other stuff like the English over there. Uh, three wings of one mana battery for one day port used to detect what is in the mana. So that basically tells you <laughs> what items are there, what you want to see. I could show you these in action, but obviously my queen are trying it. My partner in real life, she's in the shower right now. So I'm just doing a quick video. Uh, if she comes out now, I'm going to have to stop the video and try to record later. Anyways, that's basically what that does. It pretty much says in the translation. All right, and the mailbox room. Uh, this one's cheeky. <laughs> I, I can't believe they allowed this. But your mailbox, if you're trying to keep your stuff safe in the mailbox, to be honest, it doesn't matter because what I've been told or what I've heard is when you get raided, you don't lose anything anyways. You have to repair your base back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't really lose anything. All right. S but this may be a point where they might, at one point, they might put it in the game. So... Rubbing a mailbox, your stuff isn't safe in the mailbox. Your best place to have your most important stuff is probably on you when you go to sleep because they can't raid your body. Not really. Um, 
especially if it's not tradable so i wouldn't worry about it too much that would be the best way to do that but that's what that does but you still need to go past a code or a password as you do it it doesn't just let you in and you got the treasure open the key remaining number of times of the turbulent city uh i'm not gonna lie i don't know what that means <laughs> so they're the tools you gotta worry about all right for the last part because miss queen is trying to just finish in the shower so she's gonna be coming out in a minute the best parts to live, if you see my marker, there we go. They're not the best parts to live because people tend to spawn around about there. And every area like this, they tend to spawn in the middle, like that. So the best places to place your house is either at one or two. Because they either run past it, but they've already raided the houses and they've got no durability left. Or... They raid those houses and then they make the exit this way. So they still avoid one and two. They won't they will rarely come towards the city centre to exit just because one they have to be a noob because they don't know what they're doing, or two, it's just too much of a risk. Because if you've raided someone's house and you get killed, you lose it all. So you don't really want to lose all your loot. So their best bet is normally to exit out over here. Like so. So the best place to put your house is at one or two, maybe three. Okay? Vice versa in every single base if you put it in the middle where governor gets robbed a lot the hypno a lot these people get hit a lot because their their base is in a hot area they the raiders spawn there and then they just you know they rob the base closest to them or whatever looks the weakest all right if you're gonna live there your base has to be on the highest level defense okay one and two tend not to get touched at all also having bases at one or two as well helps people to come and protect it quicker as well all right gotta go she's here that was worth it that was not worth it at all it just really wasn't and hello there and this is King of China trying it here with another video and we are doing a clan raid so in clan raids you don't come here with 88 health that's stupid but you know King of China likes to slack and do stupid stuff so here we are I'm here with the Hypno Chieto and oh wow this is a big this is a base <laughs> this is a base so um, yeah we're just here basically trying to raid but this could go very wrong and waste a lot of our durability. This base obviously looks too much for us, but we're still gonna try it nevertheless. Here we go, this is gonna be bad. Oh, we're in. 